But so the study is really for cats who are stage two or stage three kidney disease, which is just where she's at. Mm -hmm. Chronic kidney disease is a, is a huge problem in our elderly cats. Approximately 50% of cats over the age um, 15 or in their mid-teens mm -hmm. will be expected to have chronic kidney disease. I've even read some papers, though, that say more like 50 to 80%. Just a little bit. Unfortunately, we don't have a cure for kidney disease at this time, so we really concentrate on identifying metabolic complications that occur as a result of the disease, from high blood pressure or anemia, and we also focus really strongly on nutrition and whether they're eating well. 4.88 so in this particular study, we're looking at a drug called mirtazapine, which we've really liked using clinically and has okay. have previously demonstrated in that's studies that it have. will increase the appetite in cats. Mm -hmm. The drug does get into the body through that ear gel. This yeah, new study is actually that. looking at using the mirtazapine in a gel that you apply to the inside of the cat's ear. We're looking to enroll multiple cats who have stable chronic so kidney disease, so they can't be kitties who are and, uh, in the hospital um, or having a crisis right now. Kitties will come to Colorado State University and be evaluated. Uh, We're really looking for those cats with chronic kidney disease who are struggling with their appetite. Maybe they're a little bit thin, they're a little bit muscle-wasted, and seeing if we can help them back, eat better, gain some weight, and, and do better at yeah. home. So we'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, okay. thanks. Come on, sweetie.